welcome back. We are an Aztec warrior whose name is Olmec, which, as far as you know, is a different civilization, so I don't really know how that makes sense. We just talked to the uh, village witch who wants us to find uh, a pot on that tree in the lava. Another hut. The air around it smells of magic. Um, I didn't know you could smell magic. Um, I don't think we can get into his hut. He's in the way. Alright, let's continue looking around. We also need to find the, um, stonemason. There's another ghost here. This spirit is restless for justice. Spirit, what say you? Village doomed my dishonor. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Omitok, the fierce one. How did you earn such a title, Shade? Like wild jaguar in battle. What was your station as warrior, spirit? New blood, young to tribe, yet not youngest, older than Zelonen. So I guess he was second after Zelonen, second youngest. Fear not, young warrior. The village is not doomed as long as I draw breath. So thought our clan. Quick to battle. Did we run? Quick to die. But, you know, you're just, um, humans, and I'm some kind of weird dog thing, so... Possibly related to some god? I don't know. I don't really know enough about Aztec culture to make much sense of this. Um, there was another ghost here, right in front of this totem pole. An unhappy spirit. Spirit, what say you? What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Epictor. Hunt the waters. Bounty of the seas. A fisherman? Yes, and warrior. And husband. Why do you stand here, Fallen One? What does this totem mean to you? Stand where I fall. Temple of wind protects even in death. Alright, he's protecting another temple, I guess. Which I suppose is over on that side since we haven't seen it yet. I mean no harm to the temple. I am Olmec, holy warrior. Lies and deceptions, like evil one, none may pass, all seek to destroy. You are confused, lost warrior. I speak the truth. Quetzalcoatl is my enemy as well. Step aside so that I may visit the temple. Prove, prove words, true, act of faith. Perform the test before I grant passage. Everybody always wants stuff in these games. I accept your challenge, Shade. What will be this test of faith? If never given, I... A gift for your wife? Of what kind? Glimmers, circles, neck. A necklace? Simple enough. I will find one for her and... How special is this? Crafted for her. Make her kept it. Who 
was your wife? She was my heart. I meant her name. What is her name? Um, but we have to give her a gift for you. So, how can we do that if we don't know who it is? What was your station as a warrior, spirit? Young I was, much older than Omitok. Okay, so this is Tepic Talk, who we've heard mentioned before. And I guess he's older than Omitok who was older than Zilonen, who was the youngest. As a fisherman, you must be familiar with the water temple. What do you know of the carvings that mark the inner wall? Sacred place to out may pass, to brave within the cool walls. Seek greed, live. Okay, I guess he can help us with the water temple. Something to do with the fisherman's creed. What creed? The creed. Life. Water. Creed. What? You babble, Shade? Creed. The creed. Maybe we need to watch the movie Creed? I doubt it. Alright. Moving on, there's a temple on this side too. Most sacred warrior, you must find blood that springs from a holy heart, and a heart which does not bleed. Place these two offerings in the bowls before you, and then you may enter the Temple of the Jaguar. Okay, um, blood from a holy heart and a heart which does not bleed. I don't think we have either of those things. This must be the Jaguar Temple. A sacrificial bowl. It is caked with dried blood. I guess that's where the blood goes? An empty sacrificial bowl. That's probably where the heart that does not bleed goes. This must be the Jaguar Temple. Stone steps. The symbols carved into them mark this as a place of great magic. Yeah, this is also um, something you will need. These symbols. So, better make note of them as well. They're the same on either side of the stair. And you can't see all of them from down here, so... It's bull, moon, wherever that is, face or skull, star, fish, bullseye. Probably not meant to be a bullseye back in Aztec times, but that's what it looks like to me. Oh, like a crosshair, actually. Um... Alright, don't think we can get in there yet. Nor can we get to the Wind Temple, because this guy is in the way. And I guess we found the actual village. The Unholy One's power must be great indeed. There's definitely more dead people than there are ghosts. The Unholy One's power must be great indeed. The Temple of Wind. Alright, can't get there from here. We have to get past um, to pick talk somehow. And there seems to be someone here. A truly venerable woman. Old woman, what say you? Hmm. I see the Oracle was successful in summoning you. Although at this point... I don't see much use in it. The damage has been done. You have no purpose here. 
What do you mean by that, bitter crone? I am Olmec. I fight for the gods themselves. You sound as zealous as my husband, the fool. Her husband? What man would be mad enough to wed your sour tongue, old one? Ha! Ah. Tezacatl, the witch is my husband. He fathered two fine warriors with me, and now he runs to meet death's embrace. Meanwhile, I must sit obediently while he throws away his life on a fool's errand. Okay, so she's married to the witch who is planning to sacrifice himself to defeat Quetzalcoatl. By the time Quetzalcoatl is defeated, there will be nobody left in this village. I guess we can at least stop his further plans for domination. Also, I love how rude Olmec just is to everybody. What errand do you speak of? He plans on fighting that bastard. Undead king using his small magic. He is doomed and will die in vain. Where are your two sons? Did they die in battle? Yes. Quetzalcoatl shattered their bodies as though they were made of straw. Soon my fool husband will join them, and I'll be truly alone. Poor woman. We actually saw her sons. Uh, those were the first two warriors we spoke to, Hutzalop and Mixquadl. What is that you are mixing? Nothing important, holy one. Just a simple balm for my aching bones. Age has not been kind to me. Your husband is a brave man, old one. He faces Quetzalcoatl to help the good of the village. He knows he will not survive the battle. And what of me? I need his protection more than the rest of the village. He should be here for me. Still your selfish tongue, prone. He does what is required. He faces death as a brave warrior should. You are as much of a fool as him. I can kind of see her point of view. I guess Olmec does not, though. Goodbye, old crone. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. I guess we can take it. And we can go into the huts by the looks of it. Simple pottery. A clay pot of crude design. Simple pottery. Huts of the ruined village. Such destruction. Much of the original village seems to be buried beneath the rocks. I guess uh, that's all Quetzalcoatl's work. Huts of the ruined village. Huts. Um, doesn't seem to be anything in here. Can one woman's sorrow be so great? Woman, what say you? Why do you weep so? <laughs> Forgive me, O Holy One, for not showing you the proper respect. But I am racked with grief over the loss of my husband. He died in the battle with Quetzalcoatl. Who was your husband? His name was Tepictoc. He was a warrior but also the village's best fisherman. He lived off the gifts of the sea and devoutly worshipped the goddess of water. The cool walls of the water temple were to his liking, and he often spent his days in deep meditation and prayer there. <laughs> okay, so this is Tepictoc's wife, which he didn't want to tell us, but she didn't seem to have any trouble with telling us, so... Guess, uh, his paranoia came to nothing. 
I have seen that the water temple is flooded. Yes, by the evil one's doing. Quetzalcoatl called down a wave of water to destroy it, but it still stands proudly in the water. I guess you shouldn't use water to try and destroy a water temple? Sad one, I have spoken with the spirit of your husband. <sighs> Is he well? The spirits are not as you and I. They speak in broken words and thoughts. When I asked of the carvings of the temple, he repeated the word creed to me. Do you know what this word means? He lived by the fisherman's creed. He would often chant it to himself during prayer. The words are as follows. When God's eye is high above, spear the water quickly. For if the fish lie unaware, your baskets will be filled with the warrior's bounty. Okay, so that's the Fisherman's Creed. I guess that's what we need to get into the Water Temple. You can hear it again if you want to. Repeat the Fisherman's Creed to me. Yes, Holy One. It is this. When God's eye is high above, spear the water quickly. For if the fish lie unaware, your baskets will be filled with the warrior's bounty. We'll have to go over to the water temple and see what we can make of that. We also need to give you a necklace, but we don't have it. Or know where it is right now, so... Why does this woman worry so? That is a stupid question at this point. Woman, what say you? Olmec, you have come to us. Thank the gods, for our prayers have been answered. Yes, your prayers reach me, and I am here. What is your station? I am the wife of the chieftain. Why was your husband spared Quetzalcoatl's wrath? He was praying inside the temple of the Jaguar when the evil one came. By the time the echoes of death reached him, the battle was over. He emerged to find nearly the entire village destroyed. He was bound by tradition to become chieftain. Thus he cannot attack Quetzalcoatl. And now he broods in a dark mood. He sees himself a coward for not being able to die in battle with the others. Um, part of the text was just cut off, I guess? What happened during the battle? At first, when we saw our revered king back from the land of the dead, we were overjoyed. We thought he had come back to lead us to great victories. Instead, he came to destroy us. Although our warriors fought fiercely, Quetzalcoatl scattered them like broken twigs. After they had been killed, he unleashed his dark magic on us. What magics did he wield? He caused a massive wave to come down and crush the Temple of Water. He caused the earth to shake violently. The mountain broke apart and almost crushed all the huts, burying the Temple of Wind. Only the Temple of the Jaguar withstood his power. You speak of tradition as though it is undesirable. Your husband should be honored to be chieftain. But Olmec... Oh, wise one, it was never his desire to become chieftain, especially not this way. Working with the earth and revealing the secrets it hid inside brought him great joy. Who remains in the village? There are but a handful of us left. My husband does what he can to repair the damage of the walls of the huts, but his mind is elsewhere. The death of our beloved daughter weighs heavily upon him. She was killed in the battle? My husband insists that she was crushed beneath the boulders which destroyed the village walls. You speak as though you disbelieve your own words. I cannot help myself. I somehow feel that she still lives. Hmm. I don't know, obviously. I guess this is the stonemason slash village chief trying to fix the walls, although that is not how I fix walls. Not that I often fix walls. 
or ever really. But hitting them with a hammer still does not seem like the best way of doing it. But again, that's just me, I guess. This lowly worker appears strong and proud. You there, what is your station? I was the stonemason. Now I am village chief. What are you? And why do you enter this village? I am Olmec, holy warrior. You dare address me in that tone? I do. You may frighten the others, but you'll get no such satisfaction from me. Where were you when we needed you most? Your arrival now means nothing to me. You're too late. The way he turns around when you talk to him is so weird. <laughs> You say I am late, but you are wrong. Is that so? My precious daughter lies crushed beneath these rocks. The day Quetzalcoatl arrived, I prayed to your god with all my heart. And you come to us now? The warriors are dead. The temples are in ruins. My daughter is dead. You say your daughter is dead. How do you know? She was in her hut when the rocks fell. Look around you. Death is everywhere. I have lost everything that is dear to me. Your wife seems to think she's still alive, though. You say you were the stonemason? Yes, that is my trade. Like my father before me, and his father before him, I work the earth, shaping it to my will. I am a simple craftsman who now rules what's left of this village. A heavy burden on my weary shoulders. There are worse fates, Mason. I know. I have seen what happens to those who oppose Quetzalcoatl's rule. His punishment is swift and severe, in death as it was in life, when he ruled this village as king. Yes, but he was just and true back then, not this abomination which has returned to destroy us. We revered him when he was of flesh and bone, and upon his death we crafted a tomb as a monument to his greatness. I myself crafted the stones and jewelry he was adorned with. Um, well, if this is the stonemason, um, he should know that ritual to make us able to um, pass the lava. The witch spoke of the right of the warrior. He said you know the ceremony. Perform it on me. Now! Why should I help you? You have done nothing to help me. My daughter lies cold and broken beneath a pile of rubble. <laughs> if you were as powerful as you say, then bring my daughter back from the land of the dead. If you could do that, then I would have a reason to help you in your quest. Um, I don't know if that's something I can do. Unless she's actually not dead, like the wife thinks. Uh, well, if you aren't willing to help us with the right, maybe you can help us with the necklace? As a stonemason, maybe you know something about that? Mason, I would have a word with you. I have spoken with the spirit of Tepetak, warrior and husband to Kalkihut. The fisherman? His spirit remains here? Yes. You have the necklace that belongs to his wife. Give it to her, or I will shatter your limbs like twigs. Very well. Tell your spirit I will deliver his gift. Okay. I guess we've taken care of that at least, so let's tell the spirit that and see if he's willing to let us pass. I have spoken with the Mason Dead One. He will deliver the gift as promised. Okay. He actually just disappears, and we still have to deal with the, the gap here, but that's pretty easy. Big totem pole. There. The way is open to me. That works. He is anything but subtle, isn't he, this old mech fellow?
The Unholy One's power must be great indeed. Seems like this temple was partially buried in the rock fall. And quite a few people were killed here. Boulders are no match for the mighty Olmec. Okay. <laughs> he spoke the truth. You must be the stonemason's daughter. Your parents miss you greatly. I will take you home. Kotukyu, my daughter. You have returned from death. Fool. She was trapped within the temple. Had you not been so stubborn and full of self-pity, you would have realized that. Oh, my precious daughter! I'm so sorry. Go see your mother. She misses you terribly. Okay. Well, that was a stroke of luck. We found the stonemason's daughter, which means he should be willing to... There. Perform the right now. I have found your daughter, Mason. It is time for me to undergo the right of the warrior. You are truly honorable, Olmec. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I should never have doubted you. Enough groveling, chieftain. Get on with it. Y yes, of course. There are two stages to the ritual. The first, an act of bravery and heroism. You've already shown that by returning my daughter to me. Second, you must recite the names of the warriors who have come before you in order of their lineage. I'd like to undergo the second stage of the ritual. Do you know all six names of the warriors who came before you? Yes, I do. Then let us begin, Olmec. Name the six warriors, starting with the youngest and ending with the eldest. Okay, so this is where we need to know the order of the warriors whose ghosts we've been talking to. From youngest to oldest. This is why I said you should take notes. So the youngest we know was Zilonen. It was his first battle. Zilonen. Then after that came Ometok, who was young but not as young as Zilonen. Ometok. Then the fisherman, Tipitok. Tipitok. Um, then Sentiotl mentioned that he was younger than Hutzilop, but older than Tipitok, so he comes next. Sentiotl. Hutzilop mentioned he was the younger of the two brothers, sons of the witch. Hutzilop. And Mixquartal is the eldest. Mixquartal. You are most wise, Grand Olmec. You are now ready for the ancient magics of the land, handed down to me by my father and his father before him. To protect you from the mighty elements, I must combine your stone flesh with my blood and the magics of the earth. This will create a temporary magical barrier between yourself and the forces of nature. How long will it last? Not long. You must be swift in your quest. Blood of the holy, flesh of the warrior, married to the heart of the land in a union of protection and power. Hear my prayers for divine conjuring. Bring forth the sacred magics of the deep earth to shield this noble warrior from the harsh elements done. Go forth and fulfill your destiny, Olmec. The fate of our village lies in your hands. Alright, and that puts us up here. So now we should be able to walk through the um, lava and get that pod. 
We're also not quite done yet with the Wind Temple. And we possibly know how to get into the Water Temple. But all of that will have to wait until the next video.